Hello and welcome to Crank Your Damn Just to 11. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, my chemo shirt. Um, as you may know from other videos, I've had chemo. And one thing I noticed uh, after I bought my chemo shirt uh, is that a lot of the people at the cancer center uh, and even the nurses, they had never seen a chemo shirt. And so they didn't know <laughs> what it was or how to to operate it. And I think for me, I think this is a, a great a great thing. Uh, I bought two chemo shor shirts. They're a little bit on the expensive side because of the additional zippers they have here. And I can show you, you're not going to see any nipple, but I can show you, uh, you know, you can unzip it here and unzip it there. And then you have a nice access. If you have, if you have a port, my port was some, was just about over here. If you have a port, um, they're going to be able to easily access it if you have a, a chemo shirt. And then they can route the wire. Sometimes it was better to, to route the wire uh, towards the side that is up. And sometimes it was better to just go under and uh, run it uh, towards uh, the bottom of my shirt. And I can show you a little bit. This is, this is pretty much the opening. And you can pull on it and stretch it. And, you know, at the top also you can... You can do this and, and have more uh, access depending on where your, your port is. Uh, in my case, it was very easy of access. Um, and I did get a port when the nurses were starting to mumble that uh, getting the IV in was starting to be difficult because I had repeated treatments of chemo and I had to be admitted every time. And they grew tired at some point of uh, putting an IV every two weeks in my arm. And sometimes they had to mold put multiple IVs. So I got a port and then uh, a little after I got the chemo shirt, the first few times I had the port, I didn't have the chemo shirt, but then I found chemo shirts on Amazon and I'm going to put the link in the description if you're interested in it, or if you want to look at other models than this model. This was the model that I preferred. It seemed sturdier for me and, uh, you know, it just Plain better than the other models but you may prefer another model or you may prefer not to buy a chemo shirt at all if you need uh, chemo um, I'm not sure why you wouldn't because it makes a lot of things easier and it's not just for chemo um, I did get it for chemo and it was useful when I got chemo um, but there are also other procedures they can do on you. And if you have a chemo shirt, it's easier. For instance, I get uh, electrocardiograms fairly regularly because I have heart disease on top of my PCNS lymphoma. And when they treat you for PCNS lymphoma and they know you have heart disease, they want to do even more uh, electrocardiograms. So for an electrocardiogram, you can also unzip it. And it makes access to your chest easier for the technician and it goes faster to put the leads on if they know what they're doing. Sometimes they don't know what they're doing and then it just takes an inordinate amount of time and it doesn't matter if you have a chemo shirt or wear um, a monk's tunic or whatever you want, it's going to take a long time because the technician doesn't know what they're doing. But if they know what they're doing, then they can take advantage of your chemo shirt and the EKG can go faster. And there are probably other procedures I don't remember right now that were made easier uh, just by having the chemo shirt. Uh, in my case, I got it for chemo and then the rest was just uh, gravy uh, on top of it. And I'm, I'm not sure why... And I was surprised. I was surprised when I was at the hospital and the nurses were, were saying, what is that? What is this? And I was I was thinking, wow, uh, the other patients don't get chemo shirts. What's going on? And, and I'm puzzled about, about that, about why they're not getting chemo shirts. Maybe in some people's mind, they think that if they get the chemo shirt, that, you know, it means they really have cancer. Uh, as far as I'm, I was concerned, I didn't need convincing. I, I knew I had cancer, so... Now, how can we make this easier for the nurses, for me, for everyone in the room? To me, getting a chemo shirt was the, the right answer. One of the right answers. There are many answers to make things easier on everyone, but I thought the chemo shirt was really, uh, was really useful. So uh, for me, that's 
two thumbs up, three thumbs up, five thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I would put more thumbs up. Uh, the chemo shirt, I think, uh, is a, a great thing. Uh, I understand some people might be tight on money and don't have the, the, the money to pay for one. I, sh I suggest you go see what the price is uh, before you decide uh, whether to get one or not. And you can look at other models and some of them are maybe cheaper than this one. Uh, I, I did not want to get those models because I thought I would have problems with them. But maybe for you it's going to work. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to promote promote the chemo shirt and make it known to more people. Um, and so with this, I'll say goodbye and see you in another episode.